Hey everybody, my expect the comics, and I'm back. This time, I'm gonna show you some of my recent pickups I got in the last, I don't know, week or so, from um, a bunch of LCSs I went to. If you want to see what books I picked up, stay tuned for the intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out the content, you get it in a timely fashion. So like I said, I went to a few uh, LCSs about in the, in the last week or so. And um, I picked up some nice books, some you know somewhat hard to find books, some key books, and uh, some recent spec. So um, been you know just on the grind as of late, you know just trying to find some new LCSs, some new antique shops, and so forth. Um, and it's been a blast. It's been a blast just you know finding these new spots from here here and there. But. Um, I went to, like I said, maybe three or four LCSs. Two of them were uh, LCSs I hadn't been to before. So um, this first one was out in Connecticut, and um, it's I believe it's called Sarge's. And I went there just because I was, you know, going on my little road trips that I usually do with my son while he's napping, and we wake up and see what's in the area. So uh, that's one of my tips. So if you're just out and about driving. Just for shits and giggles, and um, you just you know you have a extra time. Go on your phone, go on Google or your Internet Explorer, and just search for comic book shops near me, or thrift stores near me, or antique shops near me. You're likely to find one of the three, and that's what I do often. So that that's been really helping me out as of late, especially finding these cool books that you don't normally find, or like a hot spec book or whatever the case may be. So I went to this shop because um, I, I've seen a few of the local uh, community members, like three men in the basement, go there, and they said they found a bunch of stuff in the past. But uh, I went there, <laughs> and I didn't find anything. It was just a lot of filler books, so uh, it was just nice to you know check it out. But um, ended up just passing. Went to a different LCS that was closer to the state line, and uh, the guy, you know, recent recent shop it just opened up recently and uh, he was like oh how'd you find me I just looked you up on uh, on Google and just see what was near me and then you guys popped up so I was like it does work trust me use that tip you'll find some cool stuff I guarantee you um, so I went there he had uh, a bunch of different things like a like hobbyist stuff so he had comic books he had toys he had cards and I, I saw in the background, too, behind the wall, he had a nice little um, 3D printer. So he was making some cool stuff as well. Really nice guy. So I picked up uh, two books there. And uh, let me see if I find it. Yeah, here we go. Two books there. It was mainly modern. Uh, sorry, very little modern. And uh, copper bronze, silver, and a little bit of golden age. So I like going to those shops because I felt like I was one of the early ones to pick in there. And um, there was a lot of nice books, a lot of Hulks, a lot of uh, Iron Man, Avengers, some DC superhero stuff, um, Justice League, a lot of just great books, and even some older like LB Cole stuff that he had on the wall, but it was the grade wasn't right for me for the price, so I didn't jump on that. Otherwise, I, I would have bought that book because that's one of my uh, 2021 gold books is to get a, an LB Cole cover, but uh, that'll be for another time. So I only came out with two books there and it didn't break the bank. I spent 22 bucks there for the two books. So let me know how I did on that first shop. First book, Incredible Hulk, number 234. If you're not familiar with this book, this is the first appearance of Quasar. So there's a bunch of spec going on with this book that um, this character could potentially appear in the James Gunn's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. You know, it definitely could tie in with that. So this is a cool book to pick up, especially for like 20 bucks or less. This only cost me six bucks. So this is definitely a no-brainer. Um, the second book, and I was really surprised to see this book because... 
I recommend picking up this book really in any condition because this book is not a book that you see often. It's one of those like, you know, later runs and one of my favorite titles is Strange Tales. And this is uh, Strange Tales number 158. And this is a classic Jim Steranko cover. I believe it's also, it's written and drawn by Jim Steranko. And this is the first appearance of the Living Tribunal. Well, the first full appearance of the Living Tribunal. And that's uh, him right there on the cover. So if you're not familiar with the Living Tribunal, he is uh, questionably, well, undoubtedly, the second strongest uh, character in the Marvel Universe, only below the one above all. So uh, there's been some, you know, a lot of rumors that this character may appear in the upcoming Doctor Strange movie. So uh, if you find this book in any grade, any condition, you know, outside of detached, you know, I'd recommend buying it. This only cost me 16 bucks. So lower grade, but still, this is my second copy. And I will definitely pick that book up whenever I see it. So that was it for that shop. Um, he told me he had a bunch of other like short boxes and long boxes next door that he hadn't sorted through. And he had his partner there that was uh, going through it slowly. So I gave him my contact and um, when he gets some more stuff, I'll definitely be checking that shop out again. So uh, this next shop was um, a shop I've gone to in the past. I just hadn't gone there probably, I don't know, in several months. And from time to time, they would kind of replenish their stock. So I spent like, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes there while I was hanging out. You know, my son was, was hanging out, looking at some other books too, doing some digging with me. And uh, picked up just um, two books there. Sorry, three books, three books. And um, the first book here is A Force, issue number one. Uh, as you know, they're you know they're starting to get more into the female characters in Marvel for the for the cinematic universe, and uh, this uh, this book is definitely worth picking up. You, I got this essentially for cover price. This is what yeah three ninety nine. I paid four bucks for it. This is uh, the first appearance of Singularity, which is uh, this character right here. Well, cosmic character, but uh, has a lot of great female characters from the Marvel Universe on here. Obviously, you got She-Hulk right there, spotlighting right in the front, and then you got a great cast right behind her. So uh, definitely pick up this book for ten bucks or less. I'd highly recommend it. And um, next book, I was really surprised. This is more on the spec side, especially with the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier just finishing up. And this is Steve Rogers, Captain America, issue number one. And then this is the second print. And uh, the way to tell this is the second print, the trade dress is blue. And uh, you got Cap right there saying, Hail Hydra. The other way to differentiate if it's a second printing, if you're not familiar with reading barcodes, you can look right there and uh, Right there where it says 00112. So that basically means it's issue one, that first one there. Cover, uh, the second one is cover A. And then number two, which is that last number, means second printing. So if you're not familiar with reading, you know, barcodes, if you're trying to find out if it's a second printing, third printing, and so forth, you can definitely uh, figure it out just by looking at that barcode. If you know, in doubt, it doesn't say there that it's second printing. A lot of the times they won't tell you that it's a second, third, fourth printing. So you'll have to know how to read barcode. So that's the quickest way to determine whether or not you have a first printing. Because then if it was first printing, it would just say 111. This one said 112. So that's how you know it's second printing. So that's a quick little lesson there for uh, differentiating uh, books by barcode. All right, and the last book I got there, I was really surprised. I've been really, really uh, up on this book, especially because it's a horror title from Image. This book came out a few weeks back, and this is Geiger number one, and this is the one per store, one per store variant. I was surprised that they had that. That was the only copy that they had at the shop, and I, you know, I was cashing out. And I asked the uh, the owner, well, 
is this book accounted for? You know, can I can I scoop this up? And uh, she said, yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, I was like, all right, great. And uh, she she rang it up and it was cover price. So um, I don't know if she didn't wasn't aware that this book was a one per store or what the case may be, because this book is going for thirty dollars up. So for me to pick this up for a cover price was an absolute steal. This book is going to go right to grading. I am really up on this book. So if you get you know a chance to pick this up, I definitely recommend it. And um, the last store I went to is uh, the Laughing Shield comic shop, and it's in Atterboro. I've been there many times before. The shop owner is really nice. Uh, my son has a blast going there and just looking at stuff. I only picked up one book there. Um, I was excited to see, you know, the new comic book day stuff. But when I got there, they were like pretty much wiped out. I was like, holy crap, I kind of, you know, missed the, uh, got there late pretty much. So um, there was a few copies from a few different titles I was looking to pick up and read. I didn't get it. You know, they were just sold out. And the shop owner just doesn't order many. He kind of like caters more to the um, the pull list subscribers. So uh, what few issues he has left usually gets you know caught up quickly. So, but I did get a chance to pick up this free previews, Marvel previews for uh, Moon Knight number one. I believe this just came out this week, and uh, I'm really excited. Obviously, you know, the channels Mark Spect the comics for a Moon Knight. Number one to finally come out. It's been since I think 2016 since the last like first ongoing title. It's been, it's been like five years. So it, it's due that this you know this character finally gets another storyline. So uh, I'm really excited. There's some great covers to uh, look out for, and uh, I can probably pull it up real quick. And these previews are you know I like to get them from time to time just because. You can kind of look at these great covers that are coming out, and um, for Moon Knight, there's a obviously it's a new number one. There's going to be a ton of covers that uh, show up for a new number one. So I'll show you some of them real quick. This is obviously the cover A that you saw on the front page. That's done by McGiven, McNiven. Sorry, you got this. Um, Variant cover there by Elizabeth Torque, which is not bad. I don't mind it. It's pretty good uh, You got the hidden gem there, which is pretty cool Hidden gem done by Bill Sienkiewicz That's pretty nice I'm Not sure what that's gonna go for it's probably pretty pricey, but I'm liking this one right here. This is the Zafino Zafino usually does a lot of the incentive covers, but this is just gonna be a regular variant So this is a nice cover. I'm definitely gonna be looking out for this book that cover specifically. And then um, the last one that was also really nice is this, uh, the John Romita, the John Romita cover right here. And there's also, I believe, a Virgin, which is a one in 200. So I'll look out for that as well. But I'm gonna be targeting the, uh, the Zafino and uh, maybe the Hidden Gem if I can get it for a decent price. I'm excited to see where they go with that because it's gonna be from what I read, a continuation of the most recent uh, Avengers storyline, when he gathers these like crazy godlike powers and beats up like Thor, Ghost Rider, and uh, and uh, Danny Rand, I Iron Fist. So if you haven't read that, I believe it's issues 32 through 37 of Avengers of the current run. Check it out. Pretty cool. So the only book I picked up there was um, a tie into that previous book I got from. Uh, the other comic shop, and this is Steve Rogers, Captain America number one. Remember how I told you the uh, trade dress was blue for the second print? The uh, first printing is red. So that's that's the, one of the easiest uh, ways to figure it out. And the other cool thing is the second printing says Hail Hydra. So uh, the first printing doesn't. So that's, that's pretty cool. So look at that. So uh, that only cost me three bucks. So that's a nice little book, uh, less than cover price. So uh, that's that. Hopefully you like the um, the haul. I picked up, uh, I thought, some pretty cool books. Um, definitely recommend getting those books at cheap prices if you can, especially that uh, Living Tribunal. That's one of my uh, nice deep spec books to pick up. I also got 
my uh, recent flea market books from this past Sunday. I have not had a chance to unbox it yet. Uh, I've been crazy, crazy busy week uh, between work and uh, my car is on its way out. So I'm going to be actually uh, car shopping tomorrow. I'm excited to pick up a new car. Uh, the one I had, I've had it for uh, about eight years. So uh, it's, it's done really well. So I'll be uh, keeping myself busy tomorrow with car shopping. But uh, look out for that unboxing right there. I did some uh, hunting with Rayman. He gave me that nice AOK -okay right there I'm going to show you guys. And I also met up with, uh, with Los and his brother. So that was pretty cool. So uh, look out for that. If you like what you saw, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, out.